Texas state senators unanimously passed a resolution condemning Communist China's practice of forced organ harvesting. A transplant specialist from a Texas clinic explains why this resolution is necessary. NTD's Allison Lee has the story. We need to get this out there and we need to stop this practice. Texas Dr. Howard Monsor is one of the witnesses who testified before state senators about forced organ harvesting in China. Ten years ago, he had a patient who had liver cancer, but multiple transplant centers in Texas turned him down because his chance of survival was too low. The patient then went to China, saying he has some connections there. At that time, I had no idea what was going on in China and how these organs were being harvested, and neither did he. At least, he didn't express any idea that this was going on. He just wanted to live. He ended up going over and getting the transplant. The patient came back to the U.S. but still died of cancer eight months later. Since then, Monster learned about the Chinese Communist regime's practice of forcibly extracting organs from living prisoners of conscience. He now says he would have warned the patient about it had he known about it back then. He says he believes desperation drove that patient to unknowingly be part of the horrific practice. We all like to think we're moral individuals, but when we're faced with death, you know, we'll try anything and we really have to um, protect our people from going over and doing this. And we really have to punish the people that are participating in this. The doctor explains, while organ donors are traceable in the U.S., in China, the authorities don't reveal the patients where those organs come from. But many around the world still visit China for organ transplants because the wait time is significantly shorter there compared to the rest of the world. Since testifying to the Texas legislature, Monster has talked to many fellow Americans and many in the science community about forced organ harvesting. I sit down and tell people what's going on in China, the look on people's eyes. People can't believe it. People can't believe it. That's going to be the challenge to get people to believe this because it sounds so horrific. In 2019, an independent international tribunal concluded that forced organ harvesting has been taking place in China for years and on a significant scale. Reports of the disturbing practice first emerged in 2006. Prisoners of conscience, including political prisoners, Uyghurs, and adherents of the spiritual practice Falun Dafa, are believed to be the primary source of organs. Monsor says we need to raise awareness about it, not only because it's immoral, but also because Americans must understand the mindset behind a regime that would do such a thing. That says more than just the fact of transplant. That says what this government really is that would do something like this. And that's a, that is, to me, a having an understanding of what they are, what they're, there's obviously no morals there. Monser believes the Chinese regime's immorality is also a threat to Americans. He hopes the resolution can encourage medical professionals to warn their patients about forced organ harvesting in China. That way, they can both protect Texans from unknowingly partaking in such a practice and help curb the practice, he says. Allison Lee, NTD News.